Hello, and welcome to the Reading Umbrella. Thank you for being here. Today's video will focus on phonological awareness and the skills that make up this component of reading. I will be presenting a series of short videos which include each component of phonological awareness along with activities and ideas to teach each component. Simply put, phonological awareness is the ability to understand that our language is made up of words and words are made up of individual units of sound. Phonological skills include understanding the concept of words, rhyme, syllables, phonemes and phoneme manipulation. In the last several decades, research has shown that phonological awareness is linked to later success in spelling and reading. Research also shows that with carefully planned instruction, phonological awareness can be taught and developed. I like to think of phonological awareness as the building block for further language and reading instruction. A strong foundation leads to a strong building. One of the first skills to teach under the concept of phonological awareness is the concept of words. The fact that sentences are made up of words. For this set of activities, it is all auditory. So you do not provide any written sentence to the student. They only have to hear you and then they have to say how many words are in each sentence. So let's get to the fun part. Some ways of teaching the child how to count the number of words in a sentence. And the first one is to use a puppet. So we teach the child that each time the puppet opens his mouth, that's one word of the sentence. The sentence we are going to be working with is, this cat is black, and we'll keep it the same for all the activities. So let's try the first sentence. This cat is black. And the student counts each time the puppet opens its mouth, that's one word. You can also have the puppet clap. This cat is black. Or you can be creative and make the puppet nod. This cat is black. And the student has to count how many words were in that sentence. If you don't have a puppet, you could even just use your hands for it to be like a pretend puppet or make a puppet out of sock. It's just about making it as fun as you can. Another way of doing that is, if this is your table, and these could be blocks or chips or buttons or counters or anything fun that you find around in the house. And for each word of the sentence, the student has to move one chip or one block forward. So let's try this. This cat is black. And then you have them count how many chips there are or how many blocks there are. One, two, three, four. So four words in that sentence. Some kids love the kinesthetic aspect of doing something themselves. So they may like to stomp the number of words there are in the sentence, or they may like to clap the number of words there are in the sentence, or they may even like to pound their fist. So this cat is black. And they count that they pounded their fist four times. Another fun way of doing it is you click your fingers or you have them click their fingers. You clap or you have them clap. Another way that I really like is some kids really like working with the ball on their seat. They can just bounce this ball or on the floor and you can set guidelines on how to be gentle and how not to cause anyone any injury. So this cat is black and I was four taps of the ball. You can also have kids work with Play-Doh or Therapati or any kind of thing that is squishy. And each time there is a squish, that's one word of the sentence. You can also do a simple thing of putting those number of fingers on the table. For some kids, they may, they may just need to have it very simple. So this is my table. I say, this cat is black. And that's four fingers. So there are four words in that sentence. I've had some kids love this activity in which I just put some paper uh, cubes on the floor and then they have to walk for each word of the sentence. So it's like a trail. And then as many steps they have taken is the number of words in the sentence.
Thank you for watching. Join me for my next video where I talk about the concept of rhyme, another skill under the term phonological awareness.